TPU tubes like this one are amazing compared to their butyl counterparts. They're quite small, they're very light, and I found them almost as reliable. However, these do have some issues, and one of those issues is repairing punctures. Yes, I like to repair my punctured tubes, not simply throw them away and replace them. Don't even think of using rubber solution glue and patches for standard butyl tubes. They won't stick to this TPU material. Similarly, don't even bother trying to use these so-called glueless patches. Actually, they're pre-glued patches that are designed for butyl tubes. Again, they won't stick. You can get a patch kit specifically for TPU tubes. They come with alcohol swabs for cleaning the tube and some pre-glued patches. However, I have found that, that these patches, although they stick initially, after a while, maybe a few days or maybe a couple of weeks, like this one, they will eventually lift off of the tube and your puncture will return. So although these are a good get you home solution, they're not very good as a permanent fix. Also, in the instructions on these tubes, it suggests that you need to leave them for half an hour in order for the glue to bond to the tube. Not very practical next to the road. My preferred option is to take a couple of spare tubes with me and to put these in if I have a puncture. Then I can bring the punctured tube home and mend it in the comfort of my shed. How do I repair these tubes when I get home? After all, these patch kits are not very good as a long-term solution. So this is what I do. After locating the hole in the tube, I cut myself a piece of old inner tube. This is a TPU inner tube to the size that I want. I can then use that as a patch. But how do I stick it on? What I use is this Bostic plastic clear glue. Now I believe other soft plastic glues will also work, but I found this Bostic one fairly cheap at four pounds and you get a fair size tube of it. However, there's one potential drawback with this adhesive. When you apply it to the tube, the solvent in it will soften the tube material. Therefore, if you put too much pressure in the tube, you'll get a localized bulge in the tube. And if you put too much pressure in, the tube will actually rupture. So you need to be careful when using this glue and putting a patch on. Don't put too much pressure in the tube, just enough to give it some shape. After a while, once the solvent has evaporated, the tube is then fine. This patching method I've found is effectively a permanent patch. I haven't had one come off yet. So that's how I approach repairing my TPU tubes. First of all, I try not to, if I can help it, repair them by the side of the road. When you get back, find the hole, Cut yourself a piece of old TPU in a tube and use that as a patch. I find sticking it on with this Bostic soft plastic glue works for me. However, other people tell me that other types of glue also work. So that's the way I approach repairing the punctures in my TPU tubes. If you found this advice helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested in similar future advice, consider subscribing. If you found this super useful, you'll find a buy me a coffee link in the description. Anyway, from me until the next video, it's goodbye.